Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another, or welcome to a episode. Uh, this would be, um, I think it's uh, Wednesday. I could be wrong about that. Let me double check my date. Uh, yeah, Wednesday. Okay, so it's Wednesday, uh, the 14th, and I tried to do this earlier on Restream. Uh, I was successful doing it, but it apparently did not show, it didn't show up on uh, Facebook or uh Twitch. I was trying to stay away from uh, YouTube uh, because, well, uh, last couple of times I've uploaded something, uh, I have, since I, I do my own promotion, uh, I managed to get about 150 uh, to 150 on one, like 115 or some other on another. Uh, and uh, apparently uh, they have a uh, quality control, uh, which means they take away people's uh, views. Um, now, I my channel does leftist news and basically talks against the establishment. Uh, and I oftentimes will sit there and do a rant about the establishment and about uh, voting and, and whatnot. So, um, anyway, speaking of voting, uh, this is from the World Social website, and uh, apparently, uh, Biden had, had acknowledged that uh, the democracy in America is on death's door. Uh, he basically went through the coup, didn't, uh, didn't acknowledge any portion as far as about of the coup uh, or the attempted coup anyway. Um, let's see, this was at uh, Philadelphia National Constitution Center. Uh, in a kind of uh, in response in a way to... Uh, the CPAC that happened in Dallas. Uh, to make a long story short, um, Joe Biden uh, isn't going to do anything in regards to um, the lack there of uh, democracy, in regards to voting and other things. They want to uh, put $25 million into the Democratic National Committee, which they would have done anyway, uh, to Basically, teach people how to uh, how to vote with, uh, in the in states that have uh, voting restric restrictions. So, instead of doing what they could to uh, to counterbalance what the Republicans are doing, and in some cases Democrats as well, in regards to third parties, um, they're just going to throw money at a problem that they need to help uh, reverse. Not to like, okay, let's just kind of like go with this and see what happens. That, that sort of thing. Uh, they're not trying to reform it. They're not trying to fix it. They're trying to go with it. And you don't. And if you uh, if you're seeking people's vote, you don't want those same people you're trying to get to not be able to vote. Otherwise, you're not you're not helping the problem. You're uh, you are the problem in that regard. Anyway, let's see. So, assessing the CPAC event, the World Social website, which uh, obviously as you can see, I'm reading from. Um, uh, warned uh, Donald Trump is consolidating power over the Republican Party, which if you if you look back at the fact that Arizona uh, censored uh, um, uh, a Cheney, uh, pretty much anybody that, that voted for impeachment of Donald Trump was being censored or uh, were, was forced to withdraw themselves from the Republican Party and become a quote unquote independent. So basically, um, I'm thinking back uh, about what, uh, now I'm not a big fan of Jimmy Dore, but Jimmy Dore was right in this regard. Uh, he said that uh, the Republicans uh, would uh, not die out necessarily, but become the party of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, who loves uh, dictators, you know, actual dictators. Um, wanted to become a dictator, essentially, in regards to uh, the coup that he attempted to uh, incite um, on January 6th. Uh, basically, he lost his butt off, but he couldn't take it. Uh, same thing with most Republicans, if you look at it, because even Democrats, same thing. So that's why I do uh, recommend people not vote for Democrat or Republican. Um, I recommend that uh, in, the, in those cases, and I don't think you would be able to take my advice or even listen to what I say, but uh, it's my, it my, it my thought to say, um, if you are like, in my case, I'm in a Democratic uh, city, but I'm in a Republican state. My plan is in regards to when voting comes up, um, 
I want to look deep and hard uh, at the people running. And if I agree with them, fine, I'll vote for them. If not, the, they won't get my vote. They won't, I'll just say none of the above. Um, I mean, it's still a vote. I just don't have confidence in anybody who's running as far as that part goes. And I will, just for the sake of argument, I will be a Democrat. But um, I would, well, now I'll find out if, uh, if I can become an independent. Because I don't like either party. I think both parties suck ass. But anyway, um, anywho, enough of my rant. Uh, in 2020, uh, he said Democrat, democracy was put to the test first by the pandemic, then by a desperate attempt to deny the reality of results of the election, and then by a violent and deadly insurrection. But so he does, uh, at least he does uh, um, acknowledge the insurrection, but of course he, yeah, anyway, uh, insurrection uh, on the Capitol, the uh, citadel of our democracy. Looking at looking linking the assault on voting rights to the attempt to the attempt to overthrow the 2020 election, he noted that since the November election, 17 Republican-controlled states have enacted 28 laws restricting ballot access for working class, poor, and minority workers or voters, which are workers as well. And a total of 400 such laws have been introduced across the U.S. The attempt to overthrow the Constitution and establish a dictatorship was continuing, continuing, he warned. Hear me clearly, he said. There's an unfolding assault taking place in America today, an attempt to suppress and subvert the right to vote in fair and free elections. I'm sorry they're not fair or they, nor are they free. Uh, an assault on democracy, what democracy, on uh, an assault on liberty, an assault on who we are as Americans. The U.S., he continues, would face a near wave of um, unprecedented voter suppression and raw and sustained election subversion in 2022 midterm elections. So he's already planning the seats for a rigged midterm. Uh, same thing with uh, Trump. They both are planting and have planted that uh, that uh, everything was rigged, everything was planted, you know, nothing, uh, fake news, fake news, that, that sort of thing. <sighs> no, but guess what? They are in power, not Donald Trump, but you know, people in the Republican Party and the people in the Democratic Party, they both are in power. So there's rigging happening, there's, you know, uh, non-free elections, they are in charge. That means they have the power to change it but they are not taking those steps to do so. So that means this is by their design. They are the ones who are creating this uh, two-party dictatorship, even more so now, uh, with this. This is why we need non-establishment uh, socialists to be running and winning. I don't mean the people of Socialist Alternative. I don't mean the DSA. Um, I do mean people of uh, the Social Equality Party, uh, which I believe is a Michigan-based uh, Michigan party, but, it, uh, but every state must have coming up in, uh, in the near future, years to come, a branch of the SCP if the electoral market is, is to have competition. You have to have other parties in the running, both literally and figuratively, uh, for office, win, lose, or draw, they have to have the access and the ballot uh, initi initiatives to be able to run for said offices. That's the only way we'll have an actual democracy, is if most, as if every single party that is rightfully registered as such is able to be in every primary and every electoral uh, cycle in the United States in open primaries and ranked choice voting needs to be established as well in every state, not just the, I think the 15 or, or so states that already have that. And a lot of those states are they're in midterms or they are in such small communities that nobody really takes, um, nobody really either takes them seriously or uh, makes note of them. Anyway.
And so, yeah, uh, so Greg Abbott, of course, Texas governor, uh, the guy who sat there and said at one point in time that it was the, um, what was it, solar panels or it was the green energy that uh, that was keeping or, uh, or uh, what was the reason for power outages in Texas during that uh, helatious snowstorm a few months back. Anyway, uh, let's see. This is in the UK, NUJ members attacked by England, England fans, okay. I wonder what the context of this is. I know they just had like a, a football game, an actual football game. I mean, could that be it or what the hell's up with that? The NUJ is to report incidents of violence against journalists and video, videographers covering the Euros, uh, that's why, yeah, Euro Championship and inquiry opened by the football governing body, UEFA, and UJ General Secretary Michelle Stanley Street uh, said, in quotes, the level of abuse and violence our members have experienced while out reporting on matches and fans viewing the games as shocking. Our members have told us about having missiles uh, uh, having missiles thrown, missiles, m missiles thrown at them, uh, threats of violence and insults while lawfully doing their jobs. They have also, in uh, they, uh, my gosh, uh, their jobs, they have also witnessed disgusting racist behavior from the so called fans. This falls into a pattern of increased. Uh, increasing intimidation and violence against the press on the streets of the UK. Such behavior has been exhibited during recent anti-lockdown protests. The union's concern is that the police have not always come to the aid of the journalists and videographers who are being attacked. We will report, we will reporting Okay, uh, reporting these incidents to the UEFA inquiry and raising them with the police. Incident support to the NUJ include one, one news agency uh, photographer tweeted, uh, quote, spent the day being threatened by England fans in London. Then some nice Italian fans turned up celebrating their win. Shortly after they left, as groups of England fans uh, ch chased them away, shouting "wog wog wog." When content, when contacted by the NUJ, he said a full can of cider had been thrown at him, missing by ten centimeters. He added that other photographers covering the Euros uh, he had spoken with had faced some kind of abuse. Videographer was pushed and his camera grabbed several times by a group of youths near a line of police in Lane, uh, Lane in Lancaster uh, Square. That the youths uh, demanded he stopped filming or they would beat him up. Uh, videographer and uh, Wimbley was told to stop filming by a group when he his camera was slung over his shoulder facing the ground and not switching on. He then faced a barrage of abuse that was called a pedophile and told he, he told that if he worked for the sun, they would beat him up. Well, apparently the sun's not very popular. Um, one the videographer who reported being threatened by a knife, uh, by a knife from an England supporter said, and of course, the amount of racism I witnessed was equal to any far right protest I have ever covered in my 16 year career as a, a, a video journalist. Not just against black English players, but also against Scottish, German, and Italian fans. Often the opposing fans were chasing off, chased off by England fans under the threat of violence if they stayed. I personally faced nothing but welcome from the opposing fans, not one case of abuse or threat. Okay, uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, by the way, I have to apologize for uh, 
Now, I, I did one of these yesterday, but I didn't realize that I couldn't hear. I mean, that I, I could hear the content of which I was playing, but nobody else could. So once I realized this part, I deleted it. So yeah, I, but for those who did hear it, I apologize for that. And I'm getting better at this kind of stuff, as you can see, but, or as you're gonna hear in this case. Um, but yeah, I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm literally a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, piece of work or anyway. Okay, so let's see. Mansion draws a red line and infrastructure talks. Okay, so this comes from a guy who was found out to be in talks every week with assholes at ExxonMobil. I think everything should be paid for. We put enough free money out, Mansion told reporters. Yes, it's called your salary. Uh, Mansion's demand, if he sticks to it, could create real problems in Democratic negotiations. The problem is a matter of week is seeking to exercise a complicated legislative goal of winning Senate approval of both a bipartisan infrastructure measure opposed by many progressives and a budget resolution that will tee up a large number of bill filled with the spending priorities. The latter bill of uh, the letter bill will not win any GOP support and will need to pass with just Democrat vote, including mansions. A group of 22 senators, including Manchin, agreed to a framework for a bipartisan infrastructure deal that would spend $1.2 trillion over eight years, but there are concerns by Republicans that the bill isn't fully paid for, threatening uh, GOP support for it. Uh, Republican negotiation uh, negotiators in the group have warned that the uh, Congressional Budget Office, or CBO, could lowball the amount of revenue the proposal will, will raise. I know there are some things that we're relying on to as pay for us that will probably not receive CBO score, but nonetheless are real, Senator Mitt Romney um, told reporters. Meanwhile, Democrats are trying to agree to a, pr a price tag for their larger bill. In order to pass a reconciliation bill, uh, Democrats will have to have total unity from all 50 of uh, the, their, uh, their members for a budget resolution, which would include the top line figure and instructions for the Democratic only bill. And the subsequent infrastructure bill itself, the measure under Senate rules cannot be filibustered, meaning the GOP can't block it. The Democrats have yet to agree on the top line figure. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer met with Democrats on the Senate Budget Committee on Monday night, but didn't get an agreement. They'll meet again on Tuesday night, which was a couple days ago now. Uh, Senate, or last night really, uh, Senate Budget Committee Chairman Bernie Sanders has thrown out six trillion, paying for roughly half as we as where he will he would like to go on to Democratic bill. As Senator Mark Warner, a member of the panel, has suggested he he's closer to roughly four trillion. Manchin has acknowledged that Democratic only bill is going to happen, but hasn't committed to a specific top line figure. He warns so that he doesn't want to go as high as Sanders. I want to make sure we pay for it. I don't want to add more debt on. So if that 1 trillion or 1.5 trillion or 2 trillion, whatever that comes out to be over a 10 year period, that's what I would be voting for. Uh, mentioned until ABC last month. Uh, the socialist in West Virginia. Oh, by the way, just so you know, this is my latest creation. And as uh, talking to MMT, uh, it is my shirt and it's about 40 bucks, uh, but that is before shipping and handling. Um, next time I will try to down price it. So maybe since I know that shipping and handling could be up to about four bucks, uh, that would be able to be included in the, in the price. Uh, but um, yeah, anyway. Uh, check that out, if you will. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Evidently, let's see, this is correct. Let me double check this. Okay, apparently, 
uh, there might have been a deal reached as far as uh, make sure there's no make sure there's no sound to this because I can hear it, but you guys won't be able to. So that's, that's not good as far as that part goes, obviously. But anyway, Senate Democrats reached 3.5 trillion deal for Biden's human infrastructure agenda, Medicare expansion. Uh, Senate Democrats reached an agreement Tuesday night on a $3.5 trillion budget plan that would expand Medicare, fund climate change initiatives, and fulfill other parts of President Joe Biden's economic agenda that Democrats hope to pass on top of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Let's see. After a lengthy meeting among Democrats on the Senate Budget Committee, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York announced the agreement for a budget reconciliation package that would fund what Biden has called human infrastructure. Uh, Schumer said that when including uh, $600 billion in new spending, Biden has proposed in a separate uh, bipartisan infrastructure plan, the amount of new spending comes in around $4.1 trillion, close to Biden's infrastructure uh, and family agendas. Every major program that President Biden was uh, has asked for is funded in a robust way, uh, Schumer said. Uh, proposals include expanding caregiving for the disabled and elderly, elderly universe, uh, universal uh, pre-kindergarten subsidy, subsidized child care, free community college, national paid family leave, and extended child ta tax credits. There's also an assortment of environmental initiatives led by a new clean energy standard forcing power companies to gradually shift from emitting carbon uh, monoxide and incentives for clear energy, uh, such as wind and power. Schumer said Democrats also added a plan to expand Medicare, long, uh, long a battle cry for progressives, including coverage for dental, vision, and hearing. Biden met with Senate Democrats at the Capitol Wednesday to discuss the agreement. I think we're going to get a lot done, he told reporters as he left the building, or left, well, left the building too, but left the meeting. At the White House, Press Secretary Jen Psaki suggested there are no, there are not enough votes to pass a package. If there, if there were enough votes for each of these priorities, there would be a vote and it would, would, have, it would have happened, she said. Biden will continue to reach out to Democrats and Republicans to help sell the package to the Senate and the public, Psaki said. Senate Budget Committee Chairman Bernie Sanders has sought a six trillion reconciliation package, but he joined Schumer and other Democrats in a show of support for the prominent compromise. This is, in our view, a very pivotal moment in American history, Sanders said. In quotes, the wealthy and large corporations are going to start paying their fair share of taxes so that we can protect the working families of this country. Democrats hope to pass the legislation through reconciliation, which would allow them to pass the spending with a simple majority in uh, even an evenly uh, divided Senate and avoid a filibuster, meaning they would not need to win 10 Republicans to push the bill through the chamber. We know uh, we have a long road to go, Schumer said. We are going to get this done for the sake of making average Americans live a whole lot longer, or a hot lot longer. Live a long lot better, a uh, whole lot better. There you go, damn. Uh, yet there's no guarantee Biden Democratic leaders can unite all the Senate Democrats to support the package. Moderate Democrats, such as President Joe, uh, Joe Manchin of West Virginia, a key swing, uh, a, a key swinger vote, uh, were non committal Wednesday about backing into that trillion dollar package. Manchin told reporters he is open to looking at everything they provided, including Medicare expansion. But once it's completely funded, we have to pay for all this. We have to pay for all this. Biden has proposed increasing taxes on corporations and doubling the capital gains tax to pay for the human infrastructure and climate components. The president has said he won't raise taxes on any family earning less than four hundred thousand a year. Uh, Mark Warner, a Democrat from Virginia, a key negotiator for the legislature, 
legislation and told reporters Tuesday night that the package would be fully financed with outstanding revenue, but he provided no detail. In June, Biden and a group of 21 Republicans and, and Democratic senators agreed to a $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill deal aimed at modernizing America's aging transportation and, Repub and public works system. The roughly $1.2 trillion plan calls for $579 billion in new spending and focuses only on physical infrastructure, uh, infrastructure structure, okay, such as roads, bridges, rail, broadband internet, water, and sewer pipes in an electric vehicle. Biden has said he's pursuing a dual track stra strategy and involves seeking congressional approval of the infrastructure bill with Republicans and the human infrastructure with the only Democrats. But after initially saying he was signing the bipartisan deal into law, only if Congress passed the reconciliation package, he walked back that threat amid blowback from Republicans. Schumer and a House Speaker Nancy and a and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi have said they hope to pass the bipartisan deal before August recess. And uh, Ledge King, the Associated Press, apparently. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Uh, okay, that was. Where was that? Not that. that. Let's see. Okay. I think there's something else I wanted. To... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's a reminder uh, what is actually in that bill. It's a lofty list, as you can see. President, Joe, President Biden's proposal, $2 trillion infrastructure plan, allocates $621 billion on roads, bridges, public transit, rail, ports, waterways, airports, and electric vehicles to improve air quality, that reduces congestion and limits uh, greenhouse gas emissions, $400 billion to bolster caregiving for aging and disabled Americans, uh, $300 billion towards boosting manufacturing, spe uh, specifically uh, semiconductors, uh, medical and clean manufacturing, uh, $213 billion towards building, renovating, and retrofitting over 2 million homes and housing units, $180 billion to advance U.S. leadership in critical technologies, upgrade research infrastructure, and establish the, U uh, the U.S. as a leader in climate science innovation and research and development. 111 billion to rebuild water infrastructure and replace all of the nation's lead, uh, lead pipes and service lines. 100 billion to build new public schools and upgrade existing buildings and 12 billion to states to use forward towards infrastructure needs of community colleges. 100 billion in order to give every American access to affordable, reliable and, and high-speed broadband. 100 billion to workforce development uh, and to help dis, uh, dislocated workers assist undeserved groups and get students on career paths before they graduate high school. 18 billion to modernize the veteran affairs hospital and 10 billion to modernize federal buildings. Let's see, Biden's proposal would be paid for by raising corporate tax to 28 and the global minimum tax to 21, placing a 15% levy on book income for the largest corporations and corporate inversions. <clears throat> well, I think this is gonna happen. Um, not so much. Unfortunately, we have President Joe Manchin who takes all kinds of money from, from, uh, from Exxon and other uh, not so clean energy places. I don't see that happening, unfortunately, but never say never in this case. Anywho, let's see. Let me. Okay. Um, news. Okay. So. Okay, so it's line nine. Okay, let's see what this is about. Oh, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. B -b 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 the 14th, so that'd be June, it's gonna be July. Let's go with this one, I believe. Let's see, yeah, yeah, okay. But there for you go, this one. Not that long ago, anyway. Okay, so, oops, my bad. Okay, so can't stop us now. Chilling police bill won't stop Extinction Rebellion. Now, I actually had a few, uh, a few months ago, someone actually well, was uh, from the, uh, talk, uh, talking to someone from the UK, apparently, um, who was saying that this had already passed. Um, yeah, and I'm like, okay. So I kept reading it in the uh, headline, whether it be UK or some parts uh, in uh, in the US. Anyway, so let's see, you might not have noticed that the government's notorious police crime sentencing and courts bill, which aims to curb our right to protest, went through a further stage of the House of Commons on Monday because the news was all about Boris Johnson and emerging from lockdown. Priti Patel, uh, has been clear that Extinction Rebellion and Black Lives Matter are the targets of the legislation. Mr. Alistair Carmichael, MP for Arkney and Shetland, said in Parliament, and quotes, our main other view that the provisions will be ineffective and have a chilling effect. I do not believe for one second that if the bill becomes law, Extinction Rebellion would look at it any other way. And he goes, oh, well, we can possibly go out and protest on the streets of the Capitol. We'd better just go home and email our members of parliament. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. Oh, well, we can't possibly go out and protest. Yeah, I misread that, my fault. The third reading of Priti Patel's draconian PSC's bill will easily pass by 100 votes, 361 to 265, 265 to 265, okay, 365 to 265, there we go. The voting was also party lines with Labor and the Lib Dems opposing. The next stage will be the House of Lords in September before it returns to the House of Commons, and at which point it could pass into law. Oh, you mean there's an actual chance it won't, it won't pass. Zoe Cohen, I think I, yeah, Zoe Cohen from Extinction Rebellion's political circle is clear. This is a travesty. Once again, political uh, politics is failing us. We are in climate, we are in a climate and eco ecological emergency, and the government's reaction to our raising the alarm is to pass highly punitive legislation. Parliament's own Joint Committee on Human Rights has has called the measure in the bill oppressive and wrong. The police already have adequate, adequate powers. They don't need more. The British people need their government to focus their attention on safeguarding our future through rapid mitigation and adaptation. So we have resilient communities ready for the increased impacts that are already locked in, whilst rapidly decarbonizing, restoring nature and truly engaging citizens in the process. To fight uh, the bill, we are going to have to mobilize. You can join the rebellion starting on August 23rd and join a kill the bill protest ha uh, happening frequently. We also call on all rebels to write, email, and tweet their MPs of whichever political party to show their discontent. We are also going to need help from human rights organizations to help us with the fight. The next pinned point is going to, to be when the bill reaches the House of Lords in September. Between then and now, we need to massively raise awareness. Zoe Cohen continued, in quotes, the most realistic chance for significantly changing changes to the bill will be in the upper chamber, but there are no guarantees they will hold their nerve. In quotes, so far the process looks to be uh, to be our worst case scenario. 
Much more is needed, particularly from the human rights NGOs, if we are going to have a real chance of stopping the proposed cha changes to protest law. Extinction Rebellion's political circle is also rebel uh, rebels to do one of the following. Get on the streets, join in with exile, and kill the bill protest. Get, a, get local. Make actions and events to target your MP and local community now, or do the old-fashioned, or do yeah, do the old-fashioned thing and write to them. There are templates you can use on this website, and personalize your email to have more impact. Make noise. Go on, go on social media and share as widely as possible. We need to flood MPs' office with, the, with these letters today. Get informed by reading briefing, briefings from human rights uh, groups, liberty, and good law protests. Let's see. Yeah, that's the end of that part. Hmm. No. Let's see if there's anything good on Yahoo. Yahoo. Anyway. Terrible thing about it. Uh, let's see. Apparently nothing press. Wait a minute. This seems interesting. It's like months ago, I think I saw this months ago, but let me say. Oh, okay. So let's see. Democrats, Democrat senators unveil marijuana legalization bill. Interesting. I remember a few months ago they had the same thing. Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, let's see, there we go, maybe. Three top Democratic senators on Wednesday introduced a draft version of a bill to legalize cannabis at the federal level, legislation that would right the wrongs of the failed war on drugs that has especially harmed people of color, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said. Uh, Schumer sent, uh, sent uh, Senator Cory Booker and Finance uh, Committee Chairman Ron Wyden are behind the proposed Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act. In February, the trio call for an overhaul of uh, legislation to end the, the federal marijuana pro prohibition and have been vocal supporters of dec decriminalizing the drug. A bill would remove major, major, uh, marijuana from the federal list of controlled substances, tax marijuana on a national level, and expunge the records of people with minor marijuana-related offenses. Schumer said the par uh, parade of horribles uh, that critics said would come from legalizing marijuana, such as spikes in crime or drug use, never materialized, and that 70% of Americans now support legalization and legalizing adult recreation, recreational use of marijuana. States would be allowed to make and enforce their own laws about cannabis. This is the cannabis common sense, Wyden said, saying small businesses in the industry and places where marijuana is legal can't deduct their business expenses or access to banking system he said that while other businesses struggled during the pandemic, the cannabis industry added hundreds of jobs with good pay, good pay and benefits. Booker said current uh, prohibitions have forced some families to become marijuana refugees and risk pr prosecution to get pot to address medical needs. In 2019, there were more marijuana arrests than all other violent crime arrests combined, and the majority of those were in for simple possession, he said. The historic uh, over-criminalization make, uh, makes it tougher to get a job and tougher 
to get credit and penalizes people for doing something that lawmakers and former presidents have admitted doing, Booker said. Uh, David Klein, CEO of a Canopy Growth, one of the world's largest cannabis, uh, cannabis uh, companies, said a statement that Canopy Growth is thrilled to support this important legislation and we're ready to work with the congressional leadership to establish a thriving, safe, and well-regulated adult use cannabis market in the United States. Other details, including whether the bill will allow marijuana companies to list on to list on U.S. stock exchanges, and that banks work with these companies aren't yet known. Analyst Jared Seiberg at Cohen Washington research group said that investors should not expect many details either. The idea is to lay out broadly what they want the bill to accomplish, he wrote. While the bill is expected to meet resistance in the Senate, the U.S. pot industry has seen recent events be break in its favor. In April, the House passed a bill that would allow pr producers to use the federally regulated banking system, New York, New Mexico, Virginia, and other states desperate for tax revenue, as well as a result of the COVID crisis, have recently allowed recreational sales to adults. Schumer said the senators don't yet have enough votes to support the, their leg legislation, but that they plan to share it with other members of Congress for their suggestions. He said he would also ask President Biden to back it. Good luck with that. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. I think Biden is too uh, senile to uh, think that, that progressively. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah. So let's see what else. Um, by the way, this will, if I can get to it now. This is my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like the, the content and all that stuff, please subscribe to it. Uh, let me see. Is that one here? Let's see. And also, you become a Patreon here. Uh, let's see, this, oh, my bad. This is my part of the page. There we go. I know, I, I don't have any, um, any, uh, pledges yet, but anyway. So visit this, and if you like what you, uh, what, what you hear, talk MMT, talk MMT, Stuff of that nature. Um, I even put up some old uh, interviews I had in 2020 with potential uh, candidates, uh, Green Party and Socialism. Um, anyway, so you can choose what you want in regards to uh, being a pledge, one dollar or more. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. Let's see. And as a reminder, if I can get to it now again. Forty bucks for a talking MMT official shirt. That uh, is forty bucks, as you can see right here. But as you can also see, you can get it in this, 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 and large, medium, lar uh, small, extra large, two XL. You name it, I have it as far as that part goes. I also have this. So $49.99 for uh, this world. Slack network merch. Let's see. I also still do have, uh, let's see. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I still have uh, um, merchandise at my brain, uh, my brain party of socialist news channel merch and my uh, conversation with socialist merch. You name it, I still have it as far as the part goes. And this will be my anchor. I'll be putting up another episode later on. So 
Yeah, um, we take advantage of that part. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Um, let's see. There was, uh, there was one thing I wanted to. Yeah, some more since then, obviously. Where was that at? Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> I got lost my own, my own thought there. Uh, in the world. There's something from Warm Moser I wanted to look at. Anyway, um, uh, there, there is a, uh, if you don't know what MMT is, it stands for modern monetary theory. And it's basically a lens on uh, how to see uh, what the economy is like, uh, what a sort of currency is like. Um, just, uh, look up uh, uh, macro and cheese. On uh, YouTube, uh, they they have a uh, an interview with L. Randall Ray, who back in 2019 was a part of a panel uh, in front of the, uh, the um, Ways and uh, I'll just say way, uh, the the Ways uh, Committee. Um, it was basically <laughs> three people who uh, who uh, obviously were MMTers to a certain degree. L. Randall Ray, definitely a founding father of MMT. And then you had a John Taylor, who uh, my last name is Taylor, and there's no relations as far as I know about there. Um, was basically the Republican uh, economist in the room, because every Republican that was uh, in the in the committee went to him as far as his uh, uh, as far as his opinion. One of them uh, mentioned uh, L. Randall Ray. I think it was, or maybe it was uh, Doctor uh, was it Borstein? I'm, I could I could I could have this guy's last name wrong, but anyway, when uh, the guy was asking about uh, the senator was asking about um, what his thought uh, about the economy and uh, and like taxes and whatnot and the debt, and he goes, well, uh, Mr. Borstein or uh, Mr. Taylor can answer this, and he went he went to Taylor. He didn't go to Borstein. Um, which I thought was kind of interesting because I'm like, okay, so that means that they're going to go to the to Republican and the rest will go to the other three people on the panel. Whereas they all pretty much had almost the exact same uh, responses, but different wording, obviously. And um, L. Randall Ray basically had to go through a beating uh, from a lot of the Republicans who were criticizing MMP. Uh, saying exactly the opposite of what MMT was about, which means which what we're saying that MMTers uh, think that the deficits don't matter and this and that and uh, those in between, and that uh, and that uh, pretty money is the only way that we can get out of whatever mess we're in. And Randall and uh, L. Randall Ray later on had to uh, pretty much defend himself to a certain degree and defend what MMT actually was. And yeah, I uh, looked that up uh, from 2019, uh, the, uh, gosh, something that way, uh, so, uh, I think of the Ways and Means Committee uh, in 2019, which was after the, um, obviously the, after uh, the, uh, the tax, the, the Trump tax uh, went through, obviously a couple years after. Um, now, not, not much was shown as far as uh, result, positive results from that. More things were shown to, to the fact that it, uh, his uh, tax policies were not up to snuff as far as uh, getting the economy back up. But anyway, uh, okay, and I'm going to do this for a little bit. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I know I've got to get rid of this back batch of its fun, but I can't really get used to it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, visit my anchor.fm slash talking uh, financially. 
Um, also visit my uh, visit Teespring to look up conversation with a socialist and look up uh, Green Party and Socialist News, and also look up talking MMT uh, shirts and anything other uh, anything related to that. Um, I will probably have shirts out there pretty soon uh, with uh, Wrestleholic, which is my uh, which is my uh, wrestling YouTube uh, channel, which I'll be uh, putting up another episode later on today. Uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, I think this is not fun thing. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess peace for now, and I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later tonight.